I haven't posted a video in two weeks. Two weeks. And I left on such a strong note, too, with the Moki Moki profile. <sighs> I, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what happened these past two weeks. But I am back, hopefully, posting more regular videos. So today is going to be at Emancipator. Um, this is one of my favorite decks, like top five favorite decks of all time. Um, despite what Polylord might say, um, I, I did play this deck for a long time before, um, before he did. So like still, I played it when it first came out. Haha, <laughs> get wrecked, you suck. But anyway, so today is going to be at Emancipator. Now this deck is super powerful. The deck ha is very underrated, this format. Um, it is kind of a glass cannon, as most people would say. But the thing is that there are certain cards in the deck that provide easy recovery, and it's just a really good deck in general. So without further ado, let's jump right into the deck. Starting things off, I play three copies of Analyzer, three copies of Researcher, and three copies of Seeker. So the idea of Adam Emancipator is that these three cards are able to get you to your entire deck. So their effect is that um, during the main phase, you can excavate the top five cards of your deck, and if you do a uh, special summon one excavated uh, non-tuner uh, level four or lower rock monster, and then place the rest at the bottom of the deck. So the idea is that they're miners, and um, they're mining for rocks. So um, these three cards are your main combo pieces. Um, I don't really think I need to explain it. I play two copies of Dragite. This is the only good other Out Emancipator card. Like, seriously. Uh, I play three copies of Ash Blossom. This card, just generic. I want to avoid playing as many non-rock monsters as possible, unless they're extenders. So then I play three copies of Doki Doki. This card is another starter card, so that way you have 12 starters in the deck, on top of certain plays with uh, Roxies. So uh, Doki Doki is just really good. Um, I feel that people shouldn't be playing it at two, but they can do what they want. I play two copies of Gigantus. Uh, this card is just a really good extender, and it actually helps for follow-up plays with uh, stuff like Gallant Granite. I play three copies of Kawaki Miru Guardian. Uh, this card sets up negation on top of the fact that it actually does set up ways for you to avoid being hand trapped during your opponent's turn, and that's actually really, really good. I play three copies of Kawaki Mirror Supplier. This card is also really powerful just because it acts as an extender, on top of the fact that it can help you a lot with your recovery plays. I play two copies of Parallel Exceed. This card, along with uh, like Roxy's, is an easy way to get a rank four. Like, there are a lot of ways to get a rank four in this deck, but Parallel Exceed is one of the easiest. I play one copy of Plague Spreader just because this card actually has a ton of combos with this deck. And um, it's what your main health target because health negates effects. I play three copies of Roxies and one copy of Dropsies. Um, this is really all of the Prank Kids engine you need to play. Um, you could play the other ones, which I've tested that variant out a little bit, but I'm not a big fan of it because it does brick a little bit. Um, it is still really powerful, still being able to set up Battle Butler, but I prefer this build. I play one copy of Monster Reborn, uh, just because this card's really good for recovery. One copy of Feather Duster, because this deck does die pretty hard to back row. Um, I play three copies of Signs and three copies of Droplets. Signs is insane for recovery, on top of the fact that it could be a mid-combo extender. And, uh, Droplets is just really good because it can stop your Dragoon, or your opponent's Dragoon. So that is it for the main deck, uh, Blazing Through the Extra deck. I play one copy of Leonite. Um, most people won't play this card, but I feel like it is actually really powerful. It comes up in a ton of situations. Um, I prefer to use it for recovery plays, but you can use it mid-combo pretty easily. I play three copies of Raptite. This card is your main monster that you use in the deck and is insanely powerful. Uh, this card uh, is basically like the other Out Emancipator cards, but instead of... Uh, having, uh, or instead of not being able to summon tuners, it can. On top of the fact that you have stuff like signs that can stack your deck and uh, get you your tuners on the top of the deck to guarantee that you're able to extend even farther. I play one copy of Drag Dragite. 
This card is insanely powerful. It, it's an out for Dragoon, which is really, really good. On top of the fact that it actually sets up some spell and trap negation. So this is where this card and uh, Crystal Wing come into, uh, come into play. So um, Drag Eye is mainly uh, if you're going up against back red decks, because you have cards like Pine Kids Dropsies, which are water monsters that are like exist to stay in your graveyard. And then Crystal Wing is mainly for um, your uh, heavy combo deck, so that way you can stop their monster plays. Um, either way, uh, they're both really good options, and they both provide a great disruption uh, depending on which deck you play. Usually I default to Crystal Wing just because this card actually sets up uh, quite a bit more avenues than the rest do, but still. So then I play one copy of Boral Savage, uh, this card's just really good in general. Uh, I play two copies of Gallant Granite. Uh, this card's just a really, really good card uh, because it actually helps you unbrick your hand and uh, be able to get to your out emancipator cards. Uh, I play one copy of Zeus because um, that I play two Granite. So the idea is that you could detach material from Granite, search a researcher, uh, go into your full combo. Then after all is said and done, if you're going second, you could just swing with Granite, go into Zeus, and then. Uh, set up just an entire board and a board wipe. I play one copy of Access Code for OTKs, one copy of Appaloosa because it contributes a lot to your end board, one copy of ha uh, Hakafibarax uh, just because this card is an insane uh, extender for the deck, uh, one copy of Unicorn uh, for the Access Code plays, one copy of Dodo Doodle Doo, and one Meow Mew uh, for the uh, Prank Kids engine. So uh, that is pretty much it for the deck. Uh, let's go over to some replays. A replay is probably going to be the only one because I actually managed to finish the duel. So this is going to be the deck versus um, the uh, versus Drytron uh, Megalith. So uh, let's go over the replay. So uh, I went first. Um, I actually opened up an insane hand. Uh, literally, Researcher and Guardian. Guardian protects you from getting hand trapped, and uh, Researcher is just the best uh, Adam Antipater card, like, period. So I summon the Guardian, um, summon the Researcher, uh, Researcher effect to um, deal five, uh, summon the Roxies, return the rest, um, linked off um, Roxies, Meow Mew, uh, summon Dropsies. It's always the worst thing when you draw into the Dropsies after um, using the effect of Roxies, but it's still fine. Uh, use the effect to summon another Roxies. Uh, link, uh, synchro into a uh, Dragite. Uh, I use Signs so that way I can stack my deck better. Um, summon back um, a Researcher. Used uh, effect of Signs, stack a Seeker on top. Uh, use the effect of uh, um, Raptite to uh, summon off the Seeker that I um, stacked. Uh, return the rest. Um, then use the effect uh, to uh, Vanish 5. He did say no hand trap, so I was kind of being a little bit greedy, but there are easy ways to play around uh, stuff like Nibiru. So uh, then I used those, uh, went into. Er, um, sorry, I. There, there was a misplay here. Um, I didn't have link arrows because I was about to link them off, but I didn't have any arrows available. Uh, so then I used those two, went into a hack with Fibrax, uh, used the effect of health, special summoning the Plague Spreader, um, used those, go into Appaloosa. I was supposed to use the Plague Spreader on top of that, but it was fine. So I got the Tina Gates, um, used uh, and went into Boral. Uh, set up disruption, uh, synchroed those off into the uh, uh, Leonite. So um, I knew that I was most likely going to mill into um, my Seeker or my um, Analyzer, which um, either way, it would have been really good for me. So um, I milled, um, I got the Seeker, uh, I got the Seeker to hand, um, returned the rest. Um, the best part about Leonite is that you have the potential to mill into your signs, which signs is a lot better than most of your other cards, and this is the only card that adds to hand, so it can't. The other ones can't do anything. I returned that to summon the zombie. Uh, that was my backup plan, but it was an it was kind of just a waste. Uh, I didn't want to 
uh, waste um, researcher because it's really good for follow-ups. Uh, but then I use those synchroed into a clear or a crystal wing, and then uh, I pass turn. So uh, I'll just fast forward through his combo. So this is a four negate board. It's actually pretty good. So he just scooped. Um, I was forced to go second, and this was the game that I lost. Um, I didn't exactly draw the best hand, but it still would have technically worked if he didn't set up multi-negate board. Um, like, he, he set up his, um, uh, he set up an IP, set up, uh, uh, his, um, uh, the Herald card. Uh, I'm just gonna fast through, um, he, uh, did take a little bit of time. Uh, summoned his Manju search, um. Uh, went into full, uh, full effect that back then, um, went into his, um, sorry, used the effect of Oath, uh, attributed those off, summoned the Eta 10, overlaid into, be um, uh, Beat Rice, um, then he was able to search that. Although I think that was a misplay, because he used Eta 10, which, um, Eta 10 doesn't search, um, rituals, but, like, still. Uh, it was fine. Um, so this was his end board. He got a, a few negates with uh, Harold uh, on top of the, uh, because he used the effect of Beat Rice. So he used the effect of Beat Rice, uh, sending the Eva. Then he got a search into um, two cards: the Harold and the. Um... Wait, didn't doesn't don't you get to search two? Oh, you can banish up to two. So he banished the Eda ten to search those two. Um, so then I tried to do something, he just negated it at that point. I didn't really have anything, it was latch ditched attempt. Um, I wish I played more generic, um, uh, monsters, because I could have linked those off, some of the exceed, he used it to search, but either way, he would have had another negate, so I wouldn't have been able to play through it. I just scooped here, I didn't have anything. So, then, um, uh, I of course went first. I set up basically the same board, so I'll just fast through. Uh, some of the analyzer, like I said, any of them can actually be full combo. Like, sure, sometimes you do need two of them in order to pull off your combos, but like if you draw into an Ad Emancipator and a Seeker, or if you draw into an, uh, like a Researcher or a Seeker along with any of the Ad Emancipator cards are guaranteed full combo. But, um, this route, like, you really only need one of them, depending on how many hand traps your opponent has. Some of the Roxies, uh, linked off, uh, went into the Dropsies. Use the effect of Supplier, Special Summon, link off, Dodo, uh, summon the, um, thingy, uh, overlaid, Gallant, so that way I can search another extender effect, summon that. Uh, then I use the effect of Analyzer, because I hadn't used it yet, surprisingly, uh, summon that. Because I didn't mill into anything else. Uh, went into the Raptite. Um, now I set up some more negation. Just uh, so that I can protect myself a little bit more. Because um, if you didn't realize. Or um, if like I had something like a Guardian. The idea is that once you link it off. You want to be able to protect yourself. But I didn't have a Guardian on the field. Uh, use the effect of uh, Researcher. Milled 5. Or summon the Guardian. Um, return those. Returning is the hardest process in Dueling Book. Um, summon the Boral, summon the Crystal Wing. So at this point, I locked him. Um, he can't really do anything. I think he was trying to bait out and negate with that, uh, but it didn't work. Uh, I just let him summon it. Um, he tried to use that, um, but I just stopped him. And uh, from here, he basically scooped. Yeah, that was it. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, let me know what you thought, and let me know if there's anything you would change about the deck. Um, the deck is super solid right now, and I really, really suggest, uh, picking it up. Uh, hopefully, Researcher will get a, uh, reprint, uh, but, yeah, that's pretty much it, and I'll see you in the next Yu-Gi-Oh! video. Peace, guys.